They wouldn't come in. Just rushing around. You could tell they were worn and it was late at night, but just rushing around. There's a huge bird in the background. Did you see that? I thought I saw it before, but now I'm sure I saw it. Ah, uh, there was emergency to the older man's injury, so it's understandable. How was he injured? His leg. It was twisted or something. He held it while he walked and made these painful little sounds in his throat. Oh, how? Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask. It would have been rude, I think. Well, we just don't know. I suppose we never will. Yeah, look at that bird. I heard a shout from downstairs. The old man had stumbled in the rain. I stayed inside with the lights off. There's no sense in my getting involved. I didn't see or hear a thing all night. I was in the back doing inventory when they came by. I got 30 cases of candles in, and each one of those have got to be individually labeled, you know? But I heard from some of the other neighbors that they weren't up to any harm, just passing through. Ezra! You're the person that they had a secret with about where Dr. Truman was. I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? Uh, we got a couple of them at the shop, but this is the only one that runs. Oh yeah, with a truck you gotta keep it up. That's why me and Julian don't use a truck. We just carry the houses. That sounds very impressive. Yeah, it's a big job. Me and Julian take them out to the forest every night. And then we bring them back at dawn, before the museum opens. Why do you take them to the forest? This museum is an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this. Or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take them out to the forest to sleep, and then bring them back in the morning. I'm getting pretty tired myself. He hurt his leg. We're looking for Dr. Truman to help him out. Is he out in the forest? Yes, ma'am. He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him out there a few nights ago and he didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. Can you tell us how to get there? You have to follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Link Cumberland. The roads don't go there. But me and Julian can take you. We were just about to go anyway. I've just got to call him over. Yelling. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Birdie. This reminds me of Dark Souls. Whoa. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm actually in control, aren't I? I am! Oh, <laughs> that is so cool! Oh, and we can see stuff from really far away, too. Okay, where was it? Up, up north? Follow the Green River way- oh, east. Then hop over Lake Cumberland. Okay, east. Oh, uh, like, 
I mean, this is the lake, right? Is this a river or a lake? I don't know, but this said Green River. So I think it's up here. Although, oh, I just realized there's a um, compass down here. We're going west right now. Still, though, I am curious what's up here. Let's follow it. Where does it go? wonder if it's just a big loop. Whoa, chapel. A chapel and graveyard, disconnected from any road in the middle of a dark woods. Occasionally it seems that pale glowing figures, difficult to track with the eye, appears. Sometimes they roll huge barrels in or out of the building. Sometimes they just loiter for a moment, then fade out of view. Eerie. Oh. This is like we've gone out to nowhere. I guess we can't continue this way, can we? Nope. Okay, I'm going to fly my way back to where we started. Okay, this is where we started from. A country church with a pitched roof and a three-story spire. A large LED display glows in the parking lot. Behind the church are several dusty metal trash cans, all closed. There's the bait shop up there. Yep, so let's follow this up east. Small figure. A tiny gray figure walks along the side of the road, carrying what appears to be a guitar case. He is followed closely by a smaller shape. A dog? Oh, is that that person we met that played some music for us and then kind of just disappeared? He looks tired. There's the mine. From above, the huge swing tipple looks like a small wooden lattice framing the edge of the mine entrance. A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuffs its limbs into a smart blue suit, and trudges slackly out of view. Huh. So this is the lake. What exactly did it say about the forest? Hop over Lake Cumberland. Well, this is not Lake Cumberland yet. Mm, this seems to end. Okay, so we missed it. That is as far east as I can go on the Green River. And this is Green River Lake up here. Oh, I think I see another lake over here. Maybe this is Cumberland? Yes, Lake Cumberland.
Ah, that must be it. Yes. Wait, who am I playing right now? Because this is definitely not Conway or Shannon. It's okay, just take it easy. We've got to get back on the road. We will, but we need to get this leg looked at first. Right now, you're in no condition to haul anything out of that truck. Even when we do find Dogwood Drive. Why is... Why is this delivery so important to you? delivery. Oh. You're retiring or something. Or... Sorry. Lysette's closing up the shop. That's, uh... Damn. Oh, this is Ezra. Oh, I didn't recognize him because I just saw their silhouette before. How'd you come to be with these people? I bet you were pretty wild when you were younger. Well, I like you anyway. It's like we're walking through little scenes of uh, what Shannon and Conway are up to. Looking around for the doctor. Shouldn't be much farther now. I think I see where the settlement ends over there. These woods go on forever. Well, no forest goes on forever. At some point there's always a road or something. A parking lot. Don't act so defeated, okay? I just need to rest. We're almost there. Dr. Truman will have a nice couch or something you can rest on, and some medicine or something, I don't know. Have you ever been here in the winter? I bet the lake freezes. Too bad it gets dark so early. <laughs> Look at the way you're like, it's like every, uh, 
well not every tree but some of the trees are sort of like the start of a of a transition like a swipe across the screen switching from one scene to the next it's really cool wiping away things as you go past them do you have any family you're close with brother or sister kids I have a brother, but I wouldn't say we're close. What does he do? He's about my age. Retired. Retired. I can't imagine. Well, I'd probably hate it anyway. You never talked to him? Nah, I burned that bridge pretty bad. Who knows? I guess I was always closest with Weaver. As close as someone can be with a girl like that. She was always on her own wavelength. But we were the same age growing up, and everyone else was so busy. When she disappeared, I got pretty angry. And I guess I just stayed that way. I never really understood her, but I knew her. It's lonely without someone like that around. I'm sorry, I'm... You're a good listener. I bet you come from a big family of dogs. Well, I have a pretty good sized family too, I guess. I guess we'll see the rest of them pretty soon. He's inside with Dr. Truman. Are you coming in? Sure, I'll come in. Dr. Truman lets me watch TV sometimes. My folks never watch TV, but I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks, too. I fix TVs, you know. Whoa, cool. A TV scientist. I bet you make a lot of money. My folks had a really nice house. Bigger than any of these houses. But it made them worried all the time. Then the bank took it back. We had to sleep at the bus station, but I couldn't ever get to sleep. So I just went out to fly around every night with Julian. We flew really far, and we never got lost. But when we came back in the morning, they were all gone. The whole family was just gone? We'll help you look for them. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can all go looking again, later tonight. Let's go see what's on TV. And, yeah, I think during that exit interview is when I really realized how badly they had me. But how else can you pay for medical school? I have college friends with debts that... You can't expect to pay that back unless you're planning to sell painkillers on the side or something. Or, you know, some kind of administrative thing. 
I don't know. Having seen what Arth having seen what arthritis did to my grandmother and my best friend in high school destroy his wrists building synthesizers. I mean, he was like 17. Ailments of the joints and limbs just seem important to me. I hope that answers your question. Getting a scholarship with that pharmaceutical company had a lot of strings attached. But at least I have somewhere to practice. Even if I have to follow their market trends a bit. And hey, thanks to all those seminars, I'm an expert on the medical uses of... Neuropnol TM. It's not so bad. So, how about that leg? What happened exactly? My leg was crushed by falling rocks. Ah, crushing injury. Yeah, those can be pretty bad. Everything gets all compressed and there's a lot of little pieces to... Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's take a look. How bad could it be, right? What are they singing about? They're singing about going home. Yeah, they're singing about their homes because they're lost right now. It's a scary song. It's scary, but they can still sing about it. Your friend's in pretty bad shape, isn't he? But it's nothing we can't handle. You might have a few things to look out for in the future. Be a bit gentler with the leg or the way you walk, but you'll be okay. I've dealt with similar cases before. So the anesthetic we'll use is called Neuropnol TM. It's pretty experimental, but it's more appropriate in cases like yours. The way it works is I'll count backwards from five to start the process, and then we'll just have a normal conversation as the Neuropnol TM takes effect. Then I'll get started. Here we go. Five. Four. <laughs> Taking effect fast. Three. Two. One. Let's talk about billing for a moment. The pharmaceutical company I'm contracted with was recently acquired by an energy company company that has some different standards for billing and revenue, so it's a bit complex now. I'm guessing this is another interlude. 83 and sunny now. Looks like it's going to get up to about 101 by late afternoon in Louisville and 103 in E-Town. Not a cloud in sight, so get out of those parasols. <laughs> Major accident just ahead of the Bardstown exit, so if you're headed to work on 31, you are late, my friend. Lysette. Sugar? Oh. I wonder if this is the um, conversation we've had with Lysette. Remember when we kind of talked about... I think it was like what had happened the last time we talked to Lysette. Um, 
I feel like Conway is someone who drinks their coffee black. That's what Ira used to say. I had a dream about him last night. I heard you yelling. Bad dreams? We were up on a roof, Ira and I, and Charlie, eating a light supper. I was drinking sweet tea. Charlie was reading. We were surrounded by other houses, closely packed. Huge sidewalks. Must have been a... Oh, what's that word? A city? That's it. I'm sure. Uh, below us, a group of people were gathered, standing quietly. A man was reading from a book. I asked Ira about the weather. Would it rain on Tuesday, or when would the sun set? Something like that. He wouldn't answer me. Charlie stood up, and Ira told him to watch his step. And then I remembered. I woke up before I could stop him. Hmm. So an accident? On the roof? Charlie was alone on that roof. I guess he was. It was so bright. His teacher said... What was the word? Imaginative. That's it. How could I forget? That wasn't his fault. It wasn't anyone's fault, Conway. That's what we mean when we say it's a... An accident. Sure. Well, we have a mail order delivery today. Might be a long drive. I hope the truck can hold up. Long drive? What makes you think so? They said they couldn't come in person. Maybe just a shut in. I don't recognize the address. The order is all. I'm sure we can fill it. Guess that'll be the last. I guess it will be. The last act of Life Sets Antiques. The... Ah, oh, what's the word? Finale. Maybe. No, that's not the word. Just need to think a bit. More coffee or something. Or have had too much. It'll come to you. Maybe. I'm not sure anymore. Seems inevitable there will be... There'll start to be words that I lose forever. What are those boxes you said in the hallway? Um... Those are Charlie's old books. Oh. I thought we could look at them together. That sounds nice. Cora should be here soon. Will you wait with me? Sure, lies. I'll wait with you. There's your traffic and weather on the fives as every 10 minutes brought to you by the Consolidated Power Company. Stick around for Old Kentucky Home with Kate, helping you turn your humble home into a mansion. After this... But that's only if you make a late payment on a follow-up visit. I think everything went well enough here that they'll only want to bill for... Oh, he's awake. How do you feel, old man? All fixed up? Truman says you might be a bit misty coming out of it, so... Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> uh, I was dreaming. 
Uh, that's unlikely. Neuropnol TM is quite powerful. In fact, many patients report a sensation of lost time. Do you feel like you've lost time? I guess so. It's been about two hours. I feel like I got some rest. Good. How about that leg? How's your leg feeling? Yeah, that's the important part. Conway shifts his leg a bit in the chair, testing it. Well? Let's go with the sort of still in a dream answer. It was the heat. The shingles were cracked in the sun and one of them slipped out under his feet. Shingles? What are you talking about? Who slipped? Your thoughts and feelings are probably still a little nebulous from the Neuropnol TM. That's totally normal. It'll pass. I wouldn't recommend driving, at least for another hour or two regardless. Conway stares remotely at his leg. Let's talk about a few things you should be aware of. Recovery, rehabilitation, side effects. I should have plenty of resting time coming up soon. Good for you. Vacation, or... Shannon casts a reassuring glance in Conway's direction. Well, at your age, I want to be clear. You should expect lingering effects of the injury for more or less the rest of your life. Don't immerse it fully in water. Avoid extremes of temperature. Uh, stay away from dusty roads and mountain lions as much as possible. Dusty roads? Yeah, dust can be pretty dangerous. If too much accumulates, you can expect some severe shocks. I I'm sorry, what? What are you talking about, Dr. Truman? Best thing you can do is keep it clean and free of debris. Uh... What? Is this l weird electric leg I'm looking at actually like, is that my new leg? What do I clean it with? Only clean your leg with a soft cloth moistened with water or isopropyl alcohol. What the hell, doctor? You'll definitely want to avoid abrasive agents like detergents or other solvents. So, do you have any questions? Anything about the bill that didn't make sense? Uh, I don't mean to rush you, but I have an early fishing trip. Uh, I don't want to think about that bill right now. Uh, sure. Well, you can go over it later. If you have any questions, there's a phone number on the bottom where you can reach the Consolidated Power Company. They handle all the billing. I wouldn't put it off for too long, if I were you. Oh, one more thing. Don't be alarmed if you experience any side effects of the neuropnol. Neuripnol. Neuripnol. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> neuropnol. Something. Typically, we see daydreaming, deja vu, pensiveness, fugue states, irregular perception of time. About 15% of patients report a generalized sensation of lateness. Nothing to be alarmed about, just keep it in mind. Thanks for your help. Julian's outside. We can head back to your truck. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. And, um, yeah, this just appears to be our leg now. Okay, perfectly normal. Nothing strange about that. <laughs> um, before I end this episode, though, I just want to say, this game is really good. Oh my god, it's fascinating. It's so well made. It's, uh, ah, I really like it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to start Act 3.